President Biden is calling on the office of the U.S. Trade Representative to more than triple the existing tariff rate on Chinese steel and aluminum. The president made this request while delivering remarks to the U.S. Steel Workers Union in Pittsburgh today. He also directed his senior team to work with Mexico to prevent China from avoiding these tariffs and announced $1.5 billion of investment in clean American homemade steel. The president criticized his likely opponent in the 2024 race while speaking today. My predecessor and the MAGA Republicans want to cross the board tariffs on all imports from all countries that could badly hurt American consumers. It's estimated it would cost the average American family an average of $1,500 a year if they succeeded in doing that. Trump simply doesn't get it. For years, I've heard my, many of my Republicans, even Democratic friends, say that China's on the rise and America has been falling behind. You may have noticed the last two years I've been the only one disagreeing with that. I've always believed we've got it all wrong. America's rising. CBS News campaign reporter Aaron Navarro joins us from Pittsburgh covering the president's trip. Things seem to be warming up there, Aaron. Uh, the president on the road uh, much of this week. Is that a deliberate effort? in creating a split-screen moment with former President Trump in his trials, or is this something pre-scheduled? Well, Errol, this is a contrast that the Biden campaign isn't necessarily running away from. Uh, as you mentioned, he is in Pennsylvania this week to talk about the economy. This is the eighth visit for both him and uh, Vice President Harris combined uh, since the start of this year. And Pennsylvania is the biggest battleground in size and electoral college votes, about 19 of them here. So the Biden campaign doesn't necessarily comment on the trials, uh, but they're not necessarily shying from that contrast as they're looking to amplify as much coverage on the local level that President Biden is getting during this Pennsylvania swing. President, you always hear the, the president say, you know, unions built the middle class and, and uh, the middle class built America. This trip is focusing on blue collar workers. Where, um, as far as polling suggests, does the president stand with this group? Well, polling shows its vulnerability along with the economy, and that's long been the case uh, looking at how voters feel. Our own CBS News polling earlier this year showed that voters uh, somewhat have a nostalgia for the economy under former President Trump, and the Biden campaign is looking to combat that, highlighting nearly every day where the economy was four years ago during the heat of the COVID pandemic. But that's sort of the support that Biden needs from blue-collar workers is why he's here. He's already endorsed by that steel workers union. He often talks about union in general. And as you mentioned earlier, he's going to be talking about some tariffs on China uh, that he's hoping uh, will garner him more support from union workers and union voters. Talk to me a little bit more about that, Aaron, because President Biden also launching a new trade representative investigation into China's aggressive support for shipbuilders and other industries. What do we need to know about that? Well, they're going to be specifically investigating Chinese subsidies in its shipbuilding industry, and depending on those, that could lead to more tariffs on China. But overall, this is an approach uh, that White House officials, uh, economic officials, argue will help prevent uh, China from undercutting uh, U.S. Uh, domestic uh, manufacturing here in the heart of steel production in Pittsburgh. That's going to be a topic that Biden's going to really lean on. And just politically, uh, Republicans and Trump have long been going after Biden, saying and claiming that he is, quote, soft on the issue of China, actions like he's going to announce today, that his administration is going to be taking uh, hopes to kind of combat that against that narrative. All right, Aaron Navarro in Pittsburgh for us. Thanks very much.